welcome dear students to this session today we are going to discuss from class 9 mathematics book chapter 10 on circle part 4 dear students here we will discuss about circle through three points means three non collinear points you see before going to discuss about this let's have some pre discussion like how many lines can be drawn through one point as you know we can draw many lines through a point here the point is o and we have drawn four lines here and we can draw many more lines through o now let's see how many lines can be drawn through two points as you know we can draw only one line through two points. Here, P and Q are two points and we can draw only one line through P and Q. Now, let's discuss about the circle. So, how many circles can be drawn through one point? Let's see the situation. Here, P is a point and here we see that many circles have been drawn through P. So this shows that through one point we can draw many circles. Now what about two points? So how many circles can be drawn through two points? You see this is the situation. P and Q are two points and here we have drawn so many circles so we can say we can draw infinitely many circles through two points p and q then what about the number of circles if it exceeds two that is how many circles can be drawn through three points here this is the figure that is q p r are three points and here one circle is drawn through it so what is the answer the answer is stated by this theorem the theorem states that there is one and only one circle passing through three given non collinear points this is the answer but how to prove it logically let's see we have taken here three points A, B and C which are not on the same line means three non-collinear points. So we can say in the given statement that A, B and C are three non-collinear points. Then what to prove? Here we have to prove that one circle can be drawn through A, B and C and the second part says the circle as you see in this figure this circle will be the only one such circle. So to prove this let's have some construction. Here AB and BC we can construct two line segments then we can perpendicularly bisect both the line segments that is AB uh, is bisected by PQ and RS is the perpendicular bisector of BC. So we can say let's draw AB and BC and their perpendicular bisectors PQ and RS respectively. Let the bisectors intersect each other at the point O. Now let's start proof the proof says any point on the perpendicular bisector of line segment is equidistant from its endpoints this is one of the statement proved in chapter 7 you see as pq is the perpendicular bisector of ab any point which lies on this line are equidistant from a and b Similarly, 
as BC is the line segment and RS is the perpendicular bisector of it, any point lies on RS are equidistant from B and C. So, this is the fact. Now, let us see O is the point of intersection of lines PQ and RS. As we uh, in the construction we discussed that O is the by intersect, uh, intersecting point of PQ and RS. That means O lies both on PQ and RS. Now, let us consider here we joined OA, OB and OC. Why? As O lies on the perpendicular bisector PQ of AB, so O is equidistant from A and B. That means OA is equal to OB. Similarly, we know that O is also lies on RS, that means the perpendicular bisector of BC. So, again O is equidistant from B and C, that means OB is equal to OC. Now, here we have OA is equal to OB and OB is equal to OC. So, we can say that OA is equal to OB is equal to OC. So, from this what do we get? That if we take O as the center and OA as the radius and draw a circle, then it will pass through the points A, B, C. As we know that as OA, OB and OC are equal, so O is equidistant from A, B and C. So, by taking O as the center and OA as the radius, if we draw a circle, it will pass through the points A, B and C. So, thus, we get a circle. So, by drawing this circle, we can say that a circle can be drawn through three non-collinear points A, B and C. So, is this the only circle that passes through A, B and C? So, to prove the uniqueness of this circle, let have another circle that pass through A, B, C. If second circle exists, then there must be a second center which is something other than O. So, let have X be the center of another circle that passes through A, B and C. If X is the center, then A, X, A, X, B and X, C are the ready of the circle. So, we can say that X, A is equal to X, B is equal to X, C. If we take one pair that is x a is equal to x b then we can say that x is equidistant from a and b so it lies on the perpendicular bisector of a b that is on p q similarly as x b is equal to x c so x is equidistant from b and c so it must lie on the perpendicular bisector of BC that is on RS. Now you see PQ and RS have two common points that is one is O and the other is X. Do you know that two lines can intersect only at one point not at two points. Two common point means two intersecting points. So, it is not possible. So, the condition says that if it is not possible, then what is possible? So, we can say thus O and X are the same point. Means, thus there exists only one circle that passes through A, B and C. 
Now you see, from this we know that how to prove that through three non-collinear points we can draw one and only one circle. So if three points are given, we can construct a circle that the steps are shown in this theorem. So let's discuss how to construct a circle through three non-collinear points. As in this theorem, we have some constructions and from which we got the center, we can draw the circle. To draw a circle, we need a center and a radius. So how did we get this radius here? If three non-collinear points are there, in this uh, theorem, during proving this, we draw AB and BC and perpendicular bisectors of AB and BC and the point where these two meet that was the center. So whenever three non-collinear points are given, we have to join them and then perpendicularly bisect each of the line segment and let the perpendicular bisectors intersect each other at a point and let it be O. So by taking that point O as the center and OA distance as the radius by the compass, if we draw a circle that will mo that must pass through B and C also. So this is the way how to construct a circle through three non-collinear points. Another uh, type of construction can also be solved by this. How to construct a circle through the vertices of a triangle? If vertices of a triangle are given, that means a triangle is given, then how to construct the circle that passes through the three vertices? That means how to draw the circumcenter of the circle. Now you see, if ABC is a triangle, then we have three non-collinear points AB and C. So again, by drawing or by uh, the drawing the perpendicular bisector of BC and by drawing perpendicular bisector of AB, we can get that the perpendicular bisectors of two sides intersect each other at a point. Let it be x. So by taking x as the center, we have as x lies on the perpendicular bisector of BC, it is equidistant from B and C. Similarly, x is equidistant from A and B. So by taking x as the center and x A as the radius, if we draw a circle, then it must pass through B and C. So thus, we can construct a circle through A, B and C. That is circumcircle of a triangle. And another problem can also be solved or, uh, by this theorem. How to construct a circle through given arc? If arc is given, how to complete the circle? If an arc like this is given, we have to complete this circle. What to do? Take any three points here, say P, Q and R. Here we get three non-collinear points. Now as before, let's join P, Q and Q, R. Then perpendicularly bisect PQ by your compass and also perpendicularly bisect the uh, 
the line segment QR by your compass and the point where these two bisectors meet you can take that as O by taking O as the center and OP as the radius we can draw a circle you will see that this arc will lie on that circle thus we can complete the circle through a given arc now let's have some problem to solve show that two circles cannot intersect each other at more than two points you see suppose we have two circles let one circle is s1 and another circle is s2 here as you see practically we have only two points that two uh, circles intersect each other suppose these two points are pq so we can say let here let's assume let the circles s1 and s2 intersect each other at p q and r as these three points lie on the circle then they must be non collinear points so this shows that p q and r are non collinear points 1 and only one circle can pass through these points but here it is given s1 and s2 both pass through the points p q and r so this is a contradiction so this contradicts this implies that this contradicts the given fact that s1 and s2 circles pass through p q and r so so the given fact must be false so which is false if this is false then what is true that as the statement says that two circles cannot intersect at more than two points so the theorem says itself says that two circles cannot have more than two intersecting points as through three uh, non collinear points only one circle can be drawn so, let's solve another uh, problem show that 
ए लाइन कैन नट इंटरसेक्ट ए सर्कल एट मोर दैन टू पॉइंट्स सो लेट्स हैव ए सर्कल एंड ए लाइन सो द सर्कल इज एस एंड द लाइन इज एल हियर लेट S circle and line L meet at three points more than two means smallest is three. So let them meet at three points. Say PQ. P, Q, and R. If P, Q is there, say the line is L, and here we have three points P, Q, and R. So we can say P, Q, and R lie. On the line L. If we draw the perpendicular bisector of PQ, this implies the perpendicular bisectors bisectors of PQ. And Q R are L one and L two, respectively, as these are perpendicular lines on the same line. This implies L one is parallel to L two. that means these two lines will never meet if these two lines will never meet then there is no point of intersection so we cannot draw a circle through p q r this implies l1 and l2 have no common point so so we cannot have a center to draw a circle through p q and r but it is stated that they have more than three points intersecting points of circle and the line so which contradicts this contradicts this contradicts the fact that the line l and the circle s have three common points that is intersecting points so this shows that a line cannot intersect a circle at more than two points dear students today we learned that 
a circle can be drawn through three non-collinear points and that is the unique circle which can pass through three non-collinear points. Dear students, we also discussed about the application of this theorem for construction of a circle through three non-collinear points that is circumcircle of a triangle and also to complete the circle if an arc is given. I hope you understand. Today we will end here. Thank you.